Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. So in this video, I will be giving you guys an updated highlight and contour routine. I will be showing you guys my little tricks and things like that. And I also showed you guys how I installed this beautiful, beautiful headband wig. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I completed this look, then please keep watching. All right, you guys, so I already did my foundation. Um, I will leave everything that I use down in my description box. So we're just gonna jump right into how I highlight and contour. So I always start off with concealer first. There are some people that start contouring first and then apply their concealer after, but I'm, I apply my concealer first and I'm gonna use the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect Longwear Concealer in the shade 150 Natural Sand. I feel like this is one of the best drugstore concealers. It has such a good coverage amazing coverage actually and to be drugstore with this kind of coverage <laughs> baby you can't beat it okay you can't beat it and um it applies very smooth it's not as drying as a lot of concealers some other concealers you have to apply it one by one like apply it underneath your eyes and go ahead and blend it out and then apply it to your other eye blend out like this one you don't have to do that it's very very creamy so I'm just going to, I'm not, let me not pick up too much because this, you do not need a lot. I'm going to just do that. Highlight and contour is actually my favorite part um, in my makeup routine. I love to highlight. It makes you look so much more awake. You know, it takes away all the dark circles and just like pigmentation or anything that you have is just makes you look so good. I love a good highlight. Mm. <laughs> I'm blending this out with my Sonia Castro sponge. Y'all already know. This is my favorite sponge. You can find this at Target. Um, somebody did comment and said it's like a little bit too hard. I mean, it's just whatever you like to use. I don't like to use a sponge that's too soft. I like when it's firm because when it's too soft, I feel like it's not still, I feel like it's soaking up all my coverage, just soaking up all my concealer, you know what I mean? So when it's firm, it's just like, you know, it's giving you that perfect amount that you need without taking away a lot of the coverage, if that makes sense. So of course you wanna take it all the way up into your inner corner area. Doing that really makes your eyes pop. It does make a huge difference. And I'm just going to blend it out, bring it all the way out. Don't forget that outer corner as well. And whatever's left on my sponge, I like to go above my lip, like my upper lip area, because I got a little, like a little mustache. Okay, it leaves like a little shadow. So I just wanna cover that up. <laughs> just gonna cover that up with some concealer. And I'm gonna go into my cream contour. So before I move on to cream contour, I just wanna give you guys some more concealer options to choose from. So of course, you guys, I just used the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect Concealer. So these two are my other favorite concealers right here, if I can hold them right. It's the Maybelline Superstay Concealer and the L'Oreal Infallible. These two are my other two drugstore favorites so i use the huda beauty cream contour in the shade light she has some really nice shades in this um line right here and i'm going to use this eco tools what's this a classic concealer <laughs> this is a concealer brush but i'm going to use it to apply this Ryan Little. <laughs> so i'm just going to contour my nose especially this part right here. I love to get in this area 
because it gives it makes your nose contour and look so natural like a naturally contoured nose so I'm gonna go ahead and use this equal tools um, base buffer brush and we're gonna blend all this out so with my forehead I like to go this way into my hairline and I never drag like please girl do not drag when you blend out your contour you want to just like you know push it in and blend it out if that mean if that makes sense like just pat it in and with me personally I like a warm tone contour um, I heard before like you have to use like a gray undertone like no no I feel like it's just whatever you like on your face so <laughs> I like my contour to look more warm. So for my nose, I'm going to use this Equal Tools Defined Crease Brush. Y'all just be using any kind of brush. It doesn't matter what it says. If it looks like it'll help me blend out my uh, nose contour, I'm going to use it. <laughs> So it's just like a good round, small round brush. So I'm going to do the same for my nose. I'm not going to, you know, swipe. I'm just going to pat it in. So next, you guys, after I blend out my cream contour, I actually like to go back in underneath my eyes and add a little bit more concealer. And this concealer is going to be my highlighting concealer. It's just going to brighten up underneath my eyes a little more. It is also another Milani Conceal Plus Perfect Longwear Concealer, but this one is in the shade 145 Warm Beige. I'm just going to use this to brighten up underneath. And you guys can see that it really brightened up underneath my eyes. All right, so this is how we are looking. I'm gonna quickly set my face using the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Setting Powder. Of course, I'm gonna go underneath my eyes first because I don't want any more of that creasing going on. And one thing, I never loved baking. I don't know. I just do not like it. So I've always just took the powder and continuously pressed it in underneath my eyes, well, on my face, until there is no more powder left. And I'm just going to take a small amount because I use a lot of full coverage, like heavy products. And the last thing that we want is any cakiness. So after all my concealer is set, I'm going to go in and set my cream contour using the NYX Highlighting Contour Palette. Y'all, I've been using this for years. And I haven't found another highlighting contour palette that is good because a lot that is coming out, they're a little too ashy. They're a little too light where... When you put it on yourself, you don't even see it. You know what I mean? So, except for the Morphe ones. The Morphe Highland Contour Palettes, I'm really looking forward to purchasing. Because they have a lot of deeper shades, you know. Uh, medium to dark shades, you know. So, I'm going to continue to use this until I go and purchase that one. So, I like to use... I like to use this shade right here, obviously, because it's almost all gone. And I'm going to use the Equal Tools Precision Highlight Brush. I really love Equal Tools Brush. I've been using them for years. Y'all know I've always buy my I always buy my brushes from like Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and they sell a lot of brushes like this. So don't want to pick up too much because you already cream contour and you're not setting it with the translucent powder. You're setting it with another contour powder. So Every time I pick up more, I just tap it off. I'm 
so that is it you guys this is gonna be a really quick video that is it for my updated how I highlight and contour and now I'm just gonna go ahead and finish off my face and show you guys this new hair that I got <laughs> Okay, so this is the hair. This hair is from Arabella Hair. This is their Body Wave headband wig, y'all. So recently, I've kind of been obsessed with the headband wigs because they are just so easy to apply and just so convenient. So this is what the inside looks like. It has two combs um, in the front on the side, one comb at the bottom, one comb in the middle. So I believe this is in 22 inches. If it's not, I'm going to leave the exact um, measurement and everything. All the details on this hair will be down in my description box, y'all. Their hair is so freaking soft. I've worked with Arabella hair before. It's so full from the front all the way down to the ends. It's just so full, so soft. Ugh, I love it so much. So this is the gel that I will be using. It's the Eco Style Gel that has olive oil, shea butter, black castor oil, and flaxseed. And I'm going to be laying my hair down with this. My brush looks so nasty. Y'all don't mind my brush. So now that I got my hair sleek back, I am going to go ahead and put the wig on. All right, you guys, so I went ahead and slide all of the combs in, make sure it was fitting right, still laying nice and flat. So now I'm gonna go ahead and attach the headband together. I'm just gonna tie all the hair out of the way. Just like that, I attached it underneath. This looks so freaking natural, y'all. Like, oh my gosh. So I'm gonna go back in with my gel and now is when I do the baby hairs. <laughs> oh, oh, uh-uh. I'm doing the baby hairs last because I would have definitely messed it up by trying to slide this wig on. So I'm doing it now. And of course this is optional, but I feel like when you do, when you add baby hairs to the headband wig, it makes it look 10 times better. Okay, this looks so pretty. Ryan Little. <laughs> So this is the body wave texture, y'all. I just wanna stand up real quick and show you guys what it looks like and like where it stops. So it stops right at my chest and it's so full and pretty. I'll never be telling y'all lies, okay? So look at the waves. Just look at the waves on this hair. So you guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed my updated highlight and contour routine and how I applied this beautiful headband wig. If you guys are interested in this hair, I will leave all the details on this wig down below for you guys to check out. And all the makeup products that I did use in this video also will be down in my description box. So make sure to check that out. And I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will See you guys in my next video. Bye.